I like that. <laughs> totally love it. Welcome to the show, Zeddy. Thank you, thank you. I know we need to start from the beginning. We, we've seen the flashy life. Uh, <laughs> now we need to know where you began, where you from, uh, what part of Kenya you from. Uh, I'm from Eldoret. Mm -hmm. I was born and raised in Eldoret. Uh, that's where I grew up. I went to school in uh, Mumias. Then I moved to uh, Mombasa. Then later on, Nakuru, uh, where everything began as a tailor. Okay, like, let's mm -hmm. talk about that for a second. Mm -hmm. So you went to Nakuru, Mombasa, Nakuru. What made you move from Mombasa to Nakuru? And why choose tailoring and design? Uh, it's not that I chose tailoring. Uh, I always feel like tailoring chose me. Okay. Well, I was just uh, hanging out with a group of friends who had a tailoring shop. And I fell in love with, uh, ta uh, with tailoring. Mm -hmm. You know, I used to spend most of the time at the, the workshop helping out as a floor man. You know, what that basically means, uh, it means you're acting as um, the guy who counts how many pairs are made in a day. You're mm. doing the trims, mm -hmm. uh, you're cleaning the floor. You know, you're just around the workshop overseeing what's going on. So, um, you know, whenever you work at a workshop, you'll, if you're smart enough, you're going to pick up a couple of skills. So I picked up a couple of skills and I fused it with my uh, art skills. Uh, I'm an artist. I draw, paint um, and all that. So okay. I incorporated my artistic skill with tailoring, okay. whereby I began um, printing on the back pocket of each and every pair that was being made. Ah. Right, so that's how I started. Okay. Yeah. Then you were discovered by Sax. How was that for you, and when did this happen? Well, uh, after I moved from Nakuru to Nairobi, mm -hmm. I ended up opening a workshop at um, Kenyatta Market with my uh, best friend, okay. Sydney, who's not here. So uh, I was at uh, Blankets and Wine, yeah. just hanging out, and mm -hmm. uh, we ended up running into, uh, she's a buyer. She goes by the name Tracy Kebata. Mm -hmm. So she was a buyer for Saks Fifth Avenue. Ah. So she saw what we had on and she went like, I'd love to get a pair. And she paid us a visit at the workshop. And I remember she said, make me something that I can't find on any shelf. Ah. So when she came back, she just, she was blown up. And she mm -hmm. said, you know, do you have a passport? <laughs> <laughs> it was just, you know, as simple as ABC. Wow. Uh, the next thing that happened was an invitation to showcase at Africa Fashion Week uh, where we left. Uh, that was 20, 2011. Yeah. Showcased in New York, which was, uh, I mean, New York is a maker yes. of fashion, you know. Yeah. So it's a big deal uh, for most people around the globe. So just for me to be in New York showcasing, then ending up working at the best, uh, one of the best denim stores in the world, working with Alexander Nash, you know, yeah. being around. And How was that, though? I mean, this is Alexander Nash. Well, <laughs> like I said, you know, New York is a, it's a big deal, mm -hmm. you know. At first, when we first met and I shared my story, I remember he was like, let's work on something together. And then I was like, wow. Wow. You know, mm -hmm. uh, he asked me, would you like to intern? I actually started as an intern. So... One of the guys who was working there, he goes by the name Sebastian. I remember Sebastian, after looking at my work, my previous work, he said, this is like asking me to shoot uh, an insect with a bazooka. <laughs> and I was just like, you know, I was just humble. And I said, you know what? I want to learn everything from the start. Yeah. So um, I started as an intern, just, you know, being in the workshop, atelier, sorry. Um, then after maybe about a year and a half, that's when they moved me to being the head of shirting. So I used to design their shirts. So basically all the clients who would come in would take their measurements, you know, direct them, talk to them about style, talk to them about how shirts should fit. Yeah. And that's what makes you a head of shirts. All right. right. So you had your thing going on in Kenya. Correct. Then you went all the way to New York. Correct. And uh, you're based there now. Yeah. What happened to what you were doing in Kenya? What happened to your work? What happened to Sydney? <laughs> Oh, um, I mean, Sydney chose a different route. Okay. Uh, he's, uh, he's designing as well. Oh, right. He has a brand called Sao Nairobi. He's doing really well. Uh, we know we are sharing uh, ideas, you know, back and forth. And um, I just chose to go back to New York. Okay. Uh, and get my hustle on, you know, work hard. 
and you know just fulfill my dreams absolutely right and one thing that most people do is uh, they are passionate about something they love to do something and they go ahead and do it and learn on the job was that the same case as you or did you have to go to school to now study this new fashion thing going on in new york because probably you were used to the kenyan market correct well um i'll say i feel blessed that yeah. i never went to a fashion school okay but i was around the best of the best in tailoring, in design, in style, you know, you name it, in New York. Yeah. What happened was um, I decided to, you know, be humble. I mean, I know I have certain skills and, you know, the talent in me, but I worked really hard. Okay. Okay. Like, to be Clearly where I am, <laughs> I worked really hard. Uh, the passion, the drive, um, I mean, I've had it since I was in Kenya. Mm -hmm. Okay. So... Being in New York, being in an environment that's just, you know, so much energy, guys yeah. are super stylish, guys are driven by what's going on. I just picked it and, you know, I ran with it. Absolutely. Right. You know, talking about fashion, you look amazing. Maybe Thank you. you could just take uh, the, the center stage. Oh, you, you, look, can... you look good as well, so you might join me <laughs> Oh, too. yeah? You got Definitely. nice shoes. Definitely. Why not? I'm sure Shaniko is feeling a bit. Shaniko, do you want to join us with your outfit? <laughs> but first, before, we, we need to talk about your outfit. Um, the, the pants, the, the shoes, I'm totally in love with the shoes. Thank so you. what do you call this kind of shirt? Um, I mean, it's just, <laughs> this is just me, basically. Oh, yeah. uh, this is a Narok shirt. Mm -hmm. So my brand is called Narok. So this is 100% silk. Mm -hmm. um, I kind of like tend to go with um, bold prints, where I know most men wouldn't do it. Yeah. But I just like to push the, the boundaries. And then this is a 3 by one uh, M5. Three Distress, by one M5 correct. lost. <laughs> so I'll explain it. I'll explain. You asked okay. me to do. So uh, three times one. <coughs> sorry. <coughs> sorry. 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 Uh, that's the denim brand that I was working for. Mm -hmm. So three times one. That's their third brand under one designer. Okay. So they had two. Then three times one is the, the third one. Okay. Then the, the construction of a denim fabric is three under one. The yarn oh. three warps under one. Okay. Right. Oh, very right. interesting. I wouldn't have thought about that. Your shoes. I, I hope the cameras are getting your shoes because they look so nice. Oh, that regular. is bold. Thanks. That is really bold. Thanks. Thanks. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Okay. And we've got your model here. So maybe kindly. Wow, that's really good. Camouflage. Still called camouflage. Right? Yeah, it's a digital uh, mm -hmm. camo. Like I said, I like to go with the uh, bold prints. Um, colorful lining on the inside the lapel that's a orange corduroy to just throw it off mm -hmm. you know tuxedo pants this is actually a thing i was asking uh last week we had uh, a fashion designer who right. all the models were wearing you call them don't touch the, uh, uncle uh pants well okay. you know for a runway you can really do anything yeah but okay. when it comes to uh like real life situation mm -hmm. most definitely they'll have to come down a little bit so okay. this is just for the showbiz and for the runway but um sometimes i can i can rock that for sure clearly, that's me yeah. <laughs> and the shiny sh this is a thing as well mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. it's, it's the in thing is it fashion now well or? you know fashion revolves yeah, uh, it looks like something that my parents probably would have worn back then back so it, then it's right back, it just yeah. comes back okay yeah Mm -hmm. Wow, okay. And the bow tie and, uh, you know, just trying to be... So this is a, a, a combination of, uh, I'd say, um, the British cut, mm -hmm. whereby we have the high armhole. Okay. Okay. And American rebel, you know, the DG camo kind of like throws it off. You know, you can't really... Most men wouldn't wear this, you know, unless you're Tyson mm -hmm. Beckford, he can pull off something like this. Okay. Right. All right, yeah. thank you. Let's take a look at some of the videos we have uh, of uh, your models wearing your outfit. Okay. There you go. Let's talk about that. Um, that was uh, in New Orleans at my friend's wedding. Actually, mm -hmm. him right mm -hmm. there, that's Ernie. Uh, this was a very, very, very um, memorable day. I ran into uh, Jamie Foxx at a party and uh, <laughs> he fixed my bow tie. And then the next thing I know, I was in uh, L.A. with a friend of mine. Uh -huh. And we ended up up the hills at his house. So oh. that was okay. a great day. All yeah. right. That, that, that's really a great day. Let's mm -hmm. take a look at another picture. Another picture. There we go. Uh, I was just 
in New York as always. And this yeah. photographer pulled me and said, can I take a shot of you? Yeah, and it looks yeah. really good. So what and are you wearing? What is that? Uh, that's just a th you know three piece, but mm -hmm. I broke it down. I have like a Glen plaid on the inside as, as a vest. Mm -hmm. I have a knee tie, uh, club collar, white shirt, and just a uh, you know those are like a charcoal, uh, what do you call it? Like a charcoal blazer mm -hmm. and a boater hat. So it's kind of like a 1920s look. Yeah, that's vintage. Right. That's vintage. Mm -hmm. Let's have another picture. Mm -hmm. And. Yeah, and you know, one thing I realize is that you, have you ever modeled before? No, because you look really amazing and you know how to take those Thanks. poses, so you double up as a model as well as a fashion designer. So, what the first thing anyone would see when you look at that, you'd be like, Oh, okay, I mean, it's, uh, it's just the vibe, you know. Yeah, once you have the vibe, um, and you're enthused about your work, mm -hmm. then it just comes out naturally. Do you naturally wear what you make all day, every day, <laughs> all day? <laughs> Okay, okay. Right. so that looks like a laid back uh, yeah, summertime, Sunday, summertime. Out. Correct. Okay, uh -huh. I see a model is ready. Okay, okay, let's. Uh, wow, that, that is bold. That is very, very bold. Correct. Very, very bold. Uh -huh. Okay, tell me about that, Zeddy. Uh, a chilled Saturday, chilled Sunday. Mm -hmm. You know, you're hanging out with your boys, you're going out for brunch. You know, you have your slippers, bold print. Like I said, I love to go out of the box. Yeah. That's what makes me as a designer. Stand out. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, and then uh, that's an rock. Uh, I call this a play shirt mm -hmm. because it's, uh, you can't really tuck it in. Okay. So on a weekend, you just throw it on, mandarin collar, it's what people call Chinese collar, mm -hmm. uh, hidden front placket. So uh, I like you to- You don't see the buttons. You don't see the buttons, okay. right? So right. I play a lot with the details um, mm -hmm. when it comes to my designs. All right. Yeah. Shaniqua, are you burning with a question? I see the way you're looking at the model. Just, just, just get on. It's okay. It's okay. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm, I'm easy. Uh -huh. you, you saw Jimmy Fox, eh? Yeah. Yeah, he's very cool, very cool guy. Yeah, so you've also met Jimmy Fox, Shaniqua. Yeah, in my dreams. I'm saying, eh, uh -huh. um, what material do you call this? This is just cotton. Cotton? What? Hundred percent. Cotton. Right. Cotton. No, no, no. I think I think the word they're looking for is cotton. No. Oh, cotton. Yeah. Oh, cotton. <laughs> oh, oh. How have you mentioned it again? Say it again. <laughs> the same way you said it. Cotton. Right. Yeah. Uh, okay. Easy. Okay. There you have it. Shadiko, do you think uh, uh, Kenyan men would uh, walk in the streets comfortably in there? It's hard. It's hard. This unless you do it in London. <laughs> because of the Vumbi. You know Vumbi? Mm -hmm. If you work with this and the Vumbi we have, you know Vumbi is the dust, eh? Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> in a chapel on a Vumbi, you get one yumba, you leave things in your, in your bathtub. Well, there's Uber. Hmm? There's Uber. Oh, yeah, if you, if you have to wear this, you have to afford Uber, though. <laughs> you can't wear this and then you, then you get into 1960 Kayole for a travel. <laughs> just can't happen. You know? There's no way. No, no way. No okay. way. Mm -mm. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> uh, for, for Even when, when I bought this one, mm -hmm. I was yeah. told for me to wear this, mm -hmm. I, I have to own a Mercedes. You have to own a Mercedes? Yeah. Uber, yeah. Oh, do? look at you. That's, okay, that's there you. you. I love yeah. this particular look. Right. I love it. Tell right. me about it. Um, that was a Liberty Fairs. It's a trade show. Mm -hmm. Like I said, summertime uh, linen. So that's a, like a full linen tax uh, suit. Uh -huh. 1920s, that's what I always like to get my inspiration from. Mm -hmm. Correct. W what is the name of the heart? Uh, it's just a normal heart. Is it yeah. normal? We call it Ojuang. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so do you, do you also dress uh, the ladies or is just uh, guys? Well, I do uh, women's suit infrequently. Okay. Right, but mostly it's just men. But okay. I'm getting in there slowly. Okay. Yeah. Having been in the Kenyan market and mm -hmm. now uh, in New York, how would you compare the two markets? Where are we lacking behind? Do we have room for growth? How would you compare the two? I mean, if I'm <laughs> Kenyan and I'm there, <laughs> yeah, that means there there has to be something going on in Kenya as well. Absolutely. It's a growing market, mm -hmm. um, and we're doing really well. There's lots of talent around. It's just a matter of um, being driven and uh, working hard and going for it. You know, I always say. Put yourself out there. Yeah. If you go to Union Square, you'll find a whole bunch of people sitting down, you know, basking all day, you know, playing music, riding their skateboards. They're putting themselves out. Oh, okay. So if you don't put yourself out, out no one is, is going to be able to see 
So I'll urge all the, you know, my fellow designers, up and coming designers like myself to keep oh. putting themselves out. That's oh, really good. Look I remember this picture. You oh remember it? God. Yeah, uh, we were with him in um, <laughs> California. <laughs> this was in California in, uh, in uh, Dodgefield <laughs> Estate. You remember? Oh my God, this was a uh, long time ago. <laughs> 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 So how has that even, so let's talk about that look. And was it in California, really? No, no, actually, this is Nairobi. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, Shaniko. You didn't have to okay. do that. <laughs> we, are, we are live. Yeah? Man. I know. So I, she, he he could have just gone with California. Yeah, we were just for chills, the show. We were chills, for the man. show. Yeah, for the show, man. Okay. Next time. So what are you doing in Kenya? Holiday? No, or? I'm working. Okay. Yeah. What are you working on? Uh, I have a couple of clients that I'm working with. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kenyans. Uh-huh. Kenyans, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Truly, this uh, yeah. is 2017. Okay. Kenyans, they, they, they can afford that, that, that such kind of design. Oh, yeah. Wow. Uh -huh. Why are you, why are you, what's going on? I, I, I really don't get it if um, we Kenyans can, can do that. You know, do you want to talk about Shaniko's outfit? Yeah. <laughs> do you want me to, to, to <laughs> do you want me to model for you? Uh, uh, model? Go ahead. Uh, ahead. Uh -huh. Oh, Nipai. Okay, all right. I think no, go, when you go say ahead, go when, ahead. You, when you say ahead, <laughs> it, it's That's very... That's walking style. You're supposed to change it. No, this is my walking style. I can start my... See, you know, I can start my, my own... Ni, ni, ni. <laughs> okay, fine. That's uh, it. That's okay. it. No. Uh, you, no. Did, you did good. You tried. She did? Yeah. yeah. Why is everyone telling her? Okay, fine. Cool. No problem. So how can people get in touch with you on Facebook and on Twitter? What do you expect to see this year? More works in Kenya or when are you relocating? Are you coming back to work here? Uh, I'm back and forth. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the fourth time I'm, I'm back home since August. Mm -hmm. uh, like I said, I have a couple of clients I'm working with. So you're going to see me here uh, a lot more. Okay. Um, you can book appointments uh, if you send me an email on zl at narocknyc.com or if you go on the Narok NYC website. Mm -hmm. You can just send us an email and book an appointment. Uh, we have our space at uh, Portin Riverside. Mm -hmm. That's where we're having our fittings being done. Uh -huh. right. Mm, all right, there you have uh -huh. it. Where's your altar? Kakamega. Uh, it's uh, a <laughs> <laughs> Shaniko, you know you say it is your cash. So it's very Vishaisha. Okay, we're speaking very short commercial break. This has been fashion forward. We'll be right back with talent keeper for this very short break.